Hey guys, we're here today and we're taking a look through our veggie gardens. We'll take you through everything and show you what we've got going and what's in getting germinated. This is our homestead, Ecotopia Oz. I'm Rob, your friendly quasi. That's a Kiwi Aussie. Let's take a look. All right, guys, in our first garden bed here, what we've got through here is the Aussie yellow lettuce. Uh, we only planted that a couple of days ago. It was quite small. Gave that and the new eggplant a bit of a hit of this. Now, we're not affiliated with these guys or anything like that. This is just what we use. It's got uh, it's microorganisms and everything in it. And uh, it's a one-shot fertilizer, which is really good for getting everything going. And you'll see some of the plants in a second. Over here, we've got just our normal iceberg lettuce, which is really starting to shoot off as well. Over here, interesting thing, we planted a few eggplant the other day, but we just thought we'd leave these a little bit longer. These are actually planted on the 27th of July. I think we're like the 6th of September today, and we've got some more shooting through. Not sure what's happening with that. Let us know in the comments if things aren't germinating as quickly for you guys. Um, this one here was actually where these lettuces were. We just thought we'd leave it there and see if any more will shoot away. Um, we got some strawberries in this one. They've only just started germinating. Uh, some lavender there. Got a couple of passion fruit. Um, and the ice cream bean tree. We're just seeing if we can shoot that away from some seeds. All right, we'll go to the next one, eh? What we've got in here, we've got our little eggplants. Um, they're only really small, like, you know, more like this one. Um, I gave them a shot of that liquid fertilizer and they're really starting to shoot away. We'll give them another hit of that tomorrow, but we've got about eight in here uh, ready to go and um, we'll keep an eye on those as well. So that's in garden bed too. We've got a bit more room here to plant a few more things that were in there getting germinated. That's garden bed too. Right, in our third garden bed here, Majority of what we've got is watermelons. They're really starting to shoot away. I know they're going to drape over this and we're going to, we should get a really good crop out of these and they'll go out everywhere. And interestingly enough, and I'll show you in another couple of garden beds, we actually had what I think is some rock melon coming up. So we'll see in a few days how that's going, but that's like two days old, really shooting away. All right, garden bed four, we've got our rock melon. These little beauties are really shooting away. Love it. I'm loving watching coming out every day and just seeing them that little bit bigger. Um, yeah, so that's really shooting away. Um, we got one that we think, as I said, we think we got in garden bed three and we've actually, I think, got another two in garden bed five. Um, and if that's the case, we'll come and bring, put them in here and have this going. So that's going to be another great little harvest. All right, garden bed five. We actually planted, only planted these about two weeks ago. They were about that big, just really boosting away. So we've got our zucchinis through here. So they're just really gonna go rampant. And we've got our beetroot here, which once again was probably the size of the eggplant about two weeks ago. We've got um, two other little, what what we think is the rock melons coming up, one there and one there. So we'll keep an eye on that and transplant them if we need to. And down this end, this is really cool too because these were tiny when we put them in. Um, these are actually pak choy. They're boosting away and look, I'm really excited about how, how all of this is going. Um, every time I say that and how excited I'm getting, I'm feeling really old, but it is pretty cool and pretty exciting seeing this stuff go ahead. All right, garden bed six. So we've got some actual broccoli through two rows here. Um, not sure if it's sprouted yet. There's a bit of everything sort of starting to come through. We don't know quite what it is. And through here, we've got some carrots. Now, we made a bit of a boo-boo when we first put them in because... As you guys all know, we're, we're new to this and we really needed sandier soil. But we've had six of them come in and um, 
look, that's six carats. It's um, six more than none. So happy with that. And down the end there, we had one more zucchini. It's not going as well as the ones in the other garden bed, but look, she'll pop off and it'll go all right. Um, I don't know whether you can see it from here, guys, but over there, there's like a green weeding bag that we've got over there. Now, we've actually got about um, six potatoes in there. They're boosting away. You can't see them at the moment because we've just covered them over again for that second spurt. But they're really boosting away and excited about getting some baby potatoes and everything out of that. What we'll do now is we'll whip into the greenhouse and I'll show you a little bit of what we're doing in there. All right, guys, what we've got in here is uh, we've just seeded a few things. So we've got some more broccoli through here. We just wanted to see how they went with, um, you know, planting them in here. We've got a mini greenhouse inside the greenhouse, trying everything because we had a lot before that didn't germinate. So we've got some broccoli there. We've got some cukes through here, a few cucumbers, a little bit more iceberg lettuce, see how that goes. Some cauliflower, a couple of lots of cauliflower and some Roma tomatoes. Now, it's really funny. Um, I've been talking to some people in the area. and Look, if you're watching and you're having the same thing or you've got a solution for us, it's taking a real long time for everything to germinate for us. Um, apparently, some of the bigger farms around here are having that same, same thing happening. So, look, if you guys are having the same thing or if you know what we might be able to do differently to, to get these guys to go, whack it down in the comments. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you've liked what you've seen today, give us a massive thumbs up. You know, hit that hit that subscribe button, whack that bell, and go from there. would love to hear from you guys. But stay tuned, and next week we'll hopefully have another little video for you. See you soon.